In this video, we will talk about Kw, which is a special equilibrium constant, and how it relates to acids and bases. It turns out that even in a solution of pure water, there is a small amount of electrical conductivity. If there is a small amount of electrical conductivity, that means there must be some sort of ions. Well, it turns out that even pure water can sometimes ionize. However, this happens very rarely. But it happens enough that we're going to give it a special equilibrium constant. This equilibrium constant is called Kw. In this diagram, we depict the ionization of water. Two molecules of water collide. The hydrogen on, on one molecule of water gets transferred to the oxygen, therefore creating a hydronium and a hydroxide. The equilibrium expression for this reaction will be hydronium multiplied by the concentration of hydroxide. And because we do not include the concentration of water because it's a pure, pure liquid, we have that the equilibrium constant equals the concentration of hydronium multiplied by the concentration of hydroxide. Through many experiments, we find that this equilibrium constant is very small, which means that the reverse reaction is greatly favored. Or, alternatively, the Ford reaction happens very, very rarely. As we mentioned earlier, this reaction happens even though rarely, it's a very important chemistry relationship. So therefore, we're going to give that equilibrium constant a special name called Kw. And the value for Kw is 1 times 10 to the minus 14 at standard ambient temperature and pressure. That ionization equation tells us that when two molecules of water ionize, you produce one molecule of hydronium and one molecule of hydroxide in a one-to-one -one ratio. That is, the concentration of hydronium is equal to the concentration of hydroxide. This is good because this means the water will be of neutral pH. As well, we can determine the concentration of the hydronium or the hydroxide by taking the square root of the Kw. By doing that, we determine that the concentration of hydroxide and hydronium in pure water is 1 times 10 to the minus 7 moles per liter. And if we go back to our modified Arrhenius theory, an acid is any substances that produce hydronium. If there is additional hydronium, the concentration of hydronium must be greater than 1 times 10 to the minus 7. Therefore, we can say that for solutions with a concentration of greater than 1 to the minus 7 is considered acidic. On the other hand, if the concentration of hydronium is less than 1 times 10 to the minus 7 moles per liter, that solution is now considered basic. An important point to remember that this Kw applies not only to pure water, but also to any solution that is mostly water. So for a solution of, let's say, 1 mole per liter of hydrogen chloride or hydrochloric acid, it is still mostly water. Therefore, we can still use this Kw expression to determine not only the concentration of hydronium, but also the concentration of hydroxide in that solution. Now, because hydrochloric acid is a very strong acid, the concentration of hydroxide will be very, very small. We can also rearrange the Kw expression to solve for hydronium or hydroxide. Here, we have the formula rearrange to solve for hydronium, and here to solve for hydroxide. We can use this Kw value of 1 times 10 to the minus 14 for most of the reactions and questions we're going to deal with, unless we are told otherwise. And remember, because the number 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14 has two significant digits, our final answer should have two significant digits as well. If we're to look at an example, we have the concentration of hydronium in an industrial effluent or wastewater is 4.4 millimoles per liter, determine the concentration of hydroxide. So here we have our expression, Kw is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14, and as with any equilibrium constants, we do not need to use units. Hydronium concentration, we're told, is 4.4 
millimole per liter, or 4.4 times 10 to the minus 3 moles per liter. Solving that, we find that the concentration of hydroxide is 2.3 times 10 to the minus 12 moles per liter. We can tell this is going to be a base acidic solution, sorry, because the concentration of hydroxide is less than 10 to minus 7, or otherwise we can look at the concentration of hydronium and see that it's greater than 10 to the minus 7 moles per liter. Let's take a look at a slightly more complex example. We were asked to calculate the concentration of hydroxide in a solution prepared by dissolving 0.37 grams of hydrogen chloride in 250 milliliters of water. And we're told that the ionization reaction for hydrogen chloride is such. And remember, hydrogen chloride is a strong acid, so therefore it will ionize 100%. The first thing we need to do is determine the concentration of hydrogen chloride. To do that, we take 0.37 grams divided by the molar mass of hydrogen chloride. And that tells us it is 1.0 times 10 to the 2, minus 2 moles. Next, we determine the concentration of hydrogen chloride. And we just take our moles of hydrogen chloride, which we just calculated, divide by 250 mils, or 0 0.25 liters. And we find that the concentration of hydrogen chloride is 0 0.04 moles per liter. Now, because hydrochloric acid ionized 100%, the concentration of hydronium ions will be the same at 0.04 moles per liter. Last, we have to put it into our KW expression and solve for OH. So the concentration of hydroxide is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 0 0.040 moles per liter. And then we solve and we find the concentration is 2.5 times 10 to the minus 13 moles per liter. It is often cumbersome to express concentration of hydronium uh, in its usual form. Therefore, scientists usually refer to the concentration of hydronium and hydrogen hydroxide using pH and pOH. And pH, again, is just the negative log of the hydronium concentration, whereas pOH is a negative log of the hydroxide concentration. To go from pH to hydronium, we have to raise 10 to the power of negative pH to determine hydronium concentration. And to determine the concentration of hydroxide, we have to raise 10 to the power of negative pH. A quick review of the pH scale. Anything with a pH of lower than 7 is considered acidic whereas anything with a pH of greater than 7 is considered basic. On the other hand, if the pOH is greater than, four, than 7, sorry, it is considered acidic, and if the pOH is less than 7, it is considered basic. And each point change on the pH scale has a change of factor of 10. So therefore, if we're to look at a solution of between pH 2 versus pH 4, the solution with a pH 2 is not just two times more concentrated in terms of hydronium, but it's actually a hundred times because it's 10 raised to the power of 2. And because we determined the pH using what we call a logarithmic function, the rules for significant digits is slightly different. We have to remember that the number of digits following the decimal point in the pH or pOH should be equal to the number of significant digits shown in the concentration of the ion. So the example shown here is that the concentration of hydronium is 2.7 times 10 to the minus 3. When you take a log of that, it turns out to be pH of 2.57. Only the 5 and the 7 are considered significant. So therefore, there are two significant digits in the pH of 2.57, which matches the number of significant digits, 2, in the original question. Conversely, if we were to go from pOH to a concentration, we have to look at the significant digits carefully. Again, for any pH or pOH value, only the value after the decimal point, in this case the 3, is considered significant. Therefore, when you calculate 10, raised to the power of negative 4.3, you 
Your final answer should only have one significant digit, which is the case in this example. Lastly, here's a summary of the important formulas that you should remember for this uh, video. First of all, the equilibrium expression for the dissociation, sorry, the ionization of water is the concentration of hydronium multiplied by the concentration of hydroxide equals 1 times 10 to the minus 14. From earlier courses, you remember that pH is the negative log of hydronium and pOH is the negative log of hydroxide. To get the concentration of hydronium, we have to raise 10 to the power of negative pH. And to get hydroxide concentration, we have to raise 10 to the power of negative pOH. And the last one is that when you add the value for pH and pOH, you should get the value of 14.